In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and the Father. Lord, have mercy. You healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray. O God, strength to those who hope in you. Graciously hear our pleas. Since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, start down to meet Ahab, the king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has taken possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, after murdering, do you also take possession? For this, the Lord says, in the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered. Because you have given yourself up to doing what is evil in the Lord's light, sight, I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and I will cut off every male in Ahab's line. I will cut off every male, slave or free man in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and like that of Baasha, son of Ahijah, because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. Against Jezebel too, the Lord declared, the dogs shall devour Jezebel in the district of Jezreel. When one of Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to the doing of evil in the sight of the Lord as Ahab did, urged on by his wife Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in the sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have goodness on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, be merciful, O God, for we have sinned. Yes. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, be merciful O Lord, Lord we for we have sinned. sinned. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my guilt. Free me from the blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue will revel in your justice. Be merciful, merciful O Lord, Lord, for we, we have sinned. sinned.
May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you heard it was said, shall love your neighbor, hate your enemy. I say to you, love your enemy. Pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sunrise on the bad and the good. He causes his rain to fall on the just and the unjust. If you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Tax collectors do that much. If you greet only your brother, what's unusual about that? Pagans do that much. Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, no matter how bad your day goes, it can't be worse than the poor job Nancy had reading about dogs and birds attacking the dead. We'll let that one go for another day. That's a tough reading. Yesterday, they had something which I think was the first time they did it. At this time of the year, like there's often like an all-star game for the kids who play baseball and softball, the graduating kids, they do that for basketball. And there's a dream game for the kids who play football. Maybe some of you played in it. But they had a, a track and field all-star tournament. A track and field never gets the attention that baseball and softball get. And if you go to track and field meet, there are events that don't get much attention, as they should, within the meet. Like most people care about the 100-yard dash, the mile run. But over on the sidelines are the kids who do the jumps. And they don't get a lot of attention. They just don't. Because they're not about speed. People like speed. If you watch the kids who do jumps, like the high jump, the bar is like, I don't know, like this high. You know, and there are kids who can jump over that. I, I'm thinking when I was 16 years old, I couldn't come close to jumping over that. But the bar is set very high, especially for the kids who are all-stars. The bar is set very high. And so does Jesus. You know, well, you got, you got to love everybody. I don't like her. Yeah, you have to love her. That is setting the bar very high. I mean, it's easy to love the person who loves me or gives me stuff. That's easy to do. A fool does that. But Jesus says, no, you've got to love the people who, who, who hate you and who, who you have a grudge against. You've got to love them. He didn't say you have to like them. He said you have to love them. That is setting the bar very high. Many of us cannot get over that, that bar. That person hurt me. I have a reason not to love them. Uh-uh. you got, you got to set the bar high. Well, I can't do that. With, with God's help, you can. There are, there are people that are harder to like than others. There are. Some people are disagreeable. Okay, why do we, why do we receive the Eucharist? To grow, to get better, to do better. If you can go to bed tonight knowing that you, you became more of a Christian by loving somebody who doesn't like you and has hurt you, you will have had a successful day. The grace of the Eucharist gives us the power to do that if we let it. Not easy. Those kids are competing for a gold medal. Big deal. We're competing for heaven. That's a big prize. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church as the body of Christ in the world, and for all who have been called to serve as shepherds, especially Pope Francis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and for the annual block party, that it will be blessed with good weather and good fellowship, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Bill Carson, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we beg you to hear our prayers. Let us seek you, find you, and love you in all other people. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. God, who in the offerings presented here provide the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food renewing us with grace. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. In goodness you created us, when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him in Christ. Through Christ, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices blend with theirs as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Design in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper ended, you get chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that 
partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. Praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Oh, the Lamb of God. You hold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. You know, that gospel reading said his rain falls on the just and the unjust. It better not fall Friday night like they're saying it might. So we have to pray harder. Let us stand to pray. At this reception of Holy Communion, O Lord, you foreshadow the union of the faithful in you so that it may bring about unity in your church. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.